So on page 21, after you've made your sketches of Cassandra's rings, hopefully you guys are a little bit more creative than I was here. I think my second one looks like it would be uncomfortable to wear, doesn't it? All right, so we're gonna draw a double number line diagram and we're gonna label the top with our percents and we're gonna label the bottom with the number of rings. And because Cassandra has five rings, we're just gonna put five bars like this. Since five rings is the total of her collection, what percent should I put above the fifth ring? Right, 100%. And then we're gonna label these with percents counting up to 100. What number do you guys think we should start with here? 20. Mm -hmm. Good, 20 and then 40, 60, 80. And then for C here, we have actually two questions. What percent is, re is um, represented by the whole collection? And what percent is each ring represent? So the whole collection, what would we say is the percentage? 100% is the whole collection. And each one of her rings is equal to how much? 20. Right. And then we have a much cuter ring down here than I drew with a little heart on it. Uh, Cassandra's aunt said she'll buy Cassandra another ring for her birthday. If Cassandra gets the ring for her birthday, what will the percent increase be in her ring collection? How much is each ring worth? So how much will her collection go up by? It's still 20%, yep which means her new collection will be 120% more than she had before. When you have that, I'd like you to turn the page to the top of the next page, 22. Let's take a look at this example. Now John has a trading card collection and he wants to increase it, or he has increased it by five more cards. He originally had 15 cards. The question is, what is the percent increase? I want to point out to you this equation that our book is showing so I can show you it does work and then we'll go back to making a proportion like you guys are used to. This is the quantity is equal to the percent times the whole. What quantity is he increasing his collection by? Five. We don't know the percent. That's the question we've been asked. So the percent is going to stay a variable and it's going to get multiplied by what he had as, as his original whole, which is 15. So if I'm going to try to solve this, right now the 15 is being multiplied times the P, but we want to get the P alone so we can find out what the percent is. So we would want to divide both sides by the 15. Go ahead and grab a calculator. And you're going to, we're going to divide 5 divided by 15. What is 5 divided by 15? What is 5 divided by 15? But that's not a percent yet. To make it a percent, we have to multiply by 100. And we get 33.3%. So that's how much he increased his collection by, by adding 5 new cards to it. Now I want to show you guys to set it up the way we've been used to. We want to put the percent, which we don't know, over what number? And we're going to put the part, which is what he's adding to his collection, over the whole. 
and then we can cross multiply and divide and check and see if you get the same answer. And this time it gives it to us as the percent because we're looking for the percent versus over here we found the decimal and we had to multiply it by 100. Two different ways. Now let's take a look at this question. Suppose instead of increasing his collection by five cards, John increased his collection by just one card. Will the percent increase be the same as when Cassandra's incre ring collection increased by one ring? What was her percent increase? 20%. Do you, does it make sense to you that if he's getting 33% with five, he's going to get 20% with one? Doesn't seem like it's going to work, but we can just check really quick. We could do 1 over 15 is equal to x over 100 and see what we come up with. And what percent did you guys find? Six. Yeah, rounded up to 7%. So the answer is no, they do not get the same amount. Okay, um, we are going to turn the next page and skip to the bottom of 24. So flip it back. We're skipping this problem up top and we're heading down to here where it says example three. So Justin appears to be a Boy Scout. You guys with me on this problem? Let's do some underlining as I read. Justin earned eight badges in Scouts as of the Scoutmaster's last report. Justin wants to complete two more badges so that he will have a total of 10 badges earned before the next report. If Justin completes the additional two badges, what will his percent increase in badges be? Well, right now, he has a total of eight. That's the whole. What's the part that he wants to increase by? And it's going to be equal to, what's our favorite fraction? X over 100. Go ahead and calculate and tell me the percent he's going to increase. And what do we get? Yep. So he, if he gets those done, he'll increase by 25%. The last question here says, express the 10 badges as a percent of the 8. Well, if the 8 was 100%, plus he's getting 25% more with the new, what's his increased percent going to be? It'll be 125% of what he has now. That would be the increase. Okay, with that we're going to do another quick skip and I want you to turn to page 27. Up here in this box there's some hints and reminders. This is the equation that the book has, but let's also write in the one we've been using, which is percent over 100 is equal to what over what? Part over whole. And if you've got that proportion, you can solve so many different things. Okay, right now I'm going to have you stay where you are and solve these problems with a partner. And that will be our work for today.